there will be multiple mindset shifts you go through as an entrepreneurial musician, but I think one of the most important ones you will go through is embracing your business, your customers, your clients, anything that produces an income for you as a life or death matter. Think of it this way. Most people have a day job that they rely on for their income, but what if that dried up tomorrow? What if you did not have an income from your job starting tomorrow? How would that change the way you look at the customers and clients that you have right now? I mean, this is a very real scenario. It happens to a lot of people. I get that many people would then take that opportunity to look for a new job, right? But if you were to embrace becoming more of an artist, entrepreneur, really the thing that you would look at is, okay, now that I don't have a job, I need to embrace my customers and clients that I have as a life or death matter and serve them in a manner that lets them know how much you care about them because you can't afford to lose those customers or clients anymore. So this is something that doesn't happen when you have a safe, reliable monthly income, even if it's not amounting to much. Even if it's only 30K, 40K a year, if you have that and you know it's coming in, temptation is you never make this mindset switch. And I've seen it with people who, unfortunately, they, they to- told me they were entrepreneurs. They said they were entrepreneurs, but their mindset said otherwise. They were really employees. They were in an employee mindset. Uh, when I shared with them that clients to me were a life or death matter, they just laughed. Like, they didn't understand how that worked. And, I mean, they'd always been in sales jobs and stuff like that. So... They, I think they got the hustle. They got that they had to call people. They got that they had to build a relationship and that there was a certain amount of responsibility that went with their sales job. But as long as they hit their figures or above, it's not like they really cared about it. Where someone in my position, losing a client could be a really big deal. I have enough. I'm like I'm diversified enough to be able to make things work. But in a situation where, you know, I've got five clients and they're each bringing me 500 to $1,000 a month, like that's my living. Losing one client would mean making some kind of sacrifice. So this is, this is where a lot of people struggle, kind of making that switch from employee to entrepreneur mindset, even in their artistic careers. They, they never get to the point of treating their customers and their clients and their business and their income as a life or death matter because they always have something that they think they can fall back on or maybe they can fall back on. If you really want to know what it's like to be an entrepreneur, to bring that mindset to your artistic career, stop playing games. Just give up the day job and see what it's like, even if it's just for a few weeks or a couple months. Try it out for yourself. See what it's like because now your life does depend on those clients. Now your life does depend on customers you've got and now you got to build a better relationship with them and now you got to show up in such a way that lets them know that you care about their business unlock the secrets to skyrocketing your productivity boosting performance and maximizing profits with my latest premium guide the productivity performance and profits black book tailored for independent artists and entrepreneurs this comprehensive resource is your roadmap to turning ideas into reality say goodbye to abandoned projects collecting dust on your shelves or buried in your hard drives it's time to bring your vision to life grab your free copy of the productivity performance and profits black book now at davidandrewweeb.com slash black book that's w-i-e-b-e Don't miss out on the key to unlocking your success.